In this video, I'm just going to show you some more examples of some of the images that I create using uh, the texture maps. Now, what I have in here is a higher resolution texture. So I've increased the resolution of this particular texture to 1024 by 1024. And so you see it covers quite a large space in here. And this image here that you're looking at is, let me see, about, oh, you know, maybe it's about 1100 pixels total. So it, you know, keeps the resolution pretty nice and you can really see it up in here in these reflections a lot of nice detail where it's reflected here in the object like that so that helps however if you're working with smaller textures like some of the textures I'll be giving away on the site are going to be at 640 by 640 I think or 512 by 512 and even though those don't work well for large surfaces like this they do work fine if you're mapping on to smaller size surfaces and you'll keep some pretty nice detail so it really comes down to you know how much you expand your texture map in a lot of ways and besides this image is a 32-bit png file and takes some four megabytes of memory yeah all right let's see a couple others Let's see. All right, here's another one, and this is kind of a scene I created just because I like I like chaotic kind of scenes. Chaos and I work well for something. There's order in chaos for me for some reason, and it just wor it works. And so these are just a bunch of different type shape textures that I put into the scene to kind of bring some of that chaos to life. And then let's see what else we have in here. And then here's another one. Oh, this these are all going to be on my SciFiAnimator.com website here sometime in February that I'll start putting textures up there. I'll have both high res and low res. The high res will be for commercial use and of course that'll cost you a little bit of money some way, one way or another. I'm not sure if I'll do a subscription or package them together or what. I haven't decided yet. And then uh, one more is, let's see, and this one right here. Yeah, now this is this is a fun one. This is, uh, I'll, again, it's just a texture. Now the also in the higher resolution version this is also a 1024 by 1024 texture but what I use in the higher resolution versions I use a combination of opaque and alpha colors in order to bring the textures to life so I could turn this into a you know a sci-fi creature I assure you that's moving around and doing things but try to imagine doing that with particles a model something like that no textures textures can really rock if you really do it right Okay, and so I just wanted to give you some more ideas about how to take advantage of textures, and I'll see you in the next video.